Proverbs 13 verse 12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. I often wonder um, if we were to consider what we believe and the breakthroughs that we believe for, how much of our faith is affected by what didn't happen. Um, so much of our theology is based on um, what didn't happen. And sometimes the prayers we pray is prayers that are prayed out of pain and loss instead of prayers out of hope and expectation. And God wants us to really to pray prayers of hope and expectation you know his, his, the bible says his word says that he has plans to give us hope a future and an expected end god is a god that answers prayers um and and sometimes we can get into this trap where where like i said where our faith is is impacted and affected negatively by bad experiences and nobody asks why anymore nobody has the confidence to ask why you know the disciples asked jesus why when they couldn't drive out um devil out of out of someone and and jesus gave them an answer today we just blame it on 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 god as you know it's god's sovereign sovereignty but god wants um us to push for the miracles to 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 push for things that we haven't seen, that, that, that we haven't experienced before. So we need to come out of a theology of what we've experienced and set our hopes up to a higher place um, and, uh, and believe for more, believe for the breakthroughs. I want to read this in, in Romans 15 verse 13. He says, I pray that God is the source of hope will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in Him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And I love, I love hope because without hope, I don't know what we are. Um, hope, hope is really um, the laying hold of the promises of God regardless of what you're experiencing and seeing right now. And I want to encourage you that this God of hope, this God of joy, He will fill you with hope and joy. Um, and, and our prayers, so we can transition our prayers from prayers of pain to prayers of hope. And we can push through and see the breakthroughs. I trust that you found that really encouraging. And I want to encourage you, never give up. Don't be discouraged. Um, get, your, get your heart, get your eyes into the Word of God. Hear what He has to say to you. And... Get your hopes up and keep them there. All right, be blessed.